Hey besties, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be show you guys how to get your back bend and bridge very easily. So I'm here to you know share with you guys some of the like very easy stretches now. Before we get onto the video, I just have to say back bend is a first step to attempt back flip or back walk over or back somersault. So it's like not only just a back bend for flexibility, but it's also useful for you to flip or tumble. And before we get started, I want to say please guys like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I see a lot of people are giving me watch time, but they are like non-subscribe. I want you guys to please subscribe, please appreciate someone's efforts. It requires a lot of hard work to do editing and I will never ever fail to entertain you guys. I love you all so much, my besties. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Hand stretches are really important for you to attempt back bend as it helps you to keep your hands straight throughout your exercise. And some of you guys might be wondering why I'm doing such things. So these are not only for the flexibility, but it's also very important to do any of the exercises. Your hands are the most essential part to perform any of your favorite back bends or bridge or back walkovers. So always make point and make note to just do some of the very basic hand stretches which I'm doing right now. stretches which are very very important for you to adapt your bridge because your wrists are like the barrier for your hand which helps you to keep your hand straight towards any of the exercise so just don't miss this part These are some back spins which are very really important for you to make your back more flexible before attempting any of your back bend and if you will do the stretches lifelong your body will never ever get stiff. This is a seal pose hold which is basically used to stretch your cold muscles and warm your cold muscles before doing any of the stretches and this is usually done after that step. This one's a cobra pose hold. It is really very important for you to not only stretch your cold muscles but to get more and more flexible. Please do not overstretch and know your limits. Once you feel the stretch, just stop. Don't overstretch. You have to do it for 15 seconds. After you do your back stretches, always make sure that you do reverse or stretches like a forward knee touch or maybe a tight pose because it is so important to stretch reverse as if you want to avoid any of those injuries which might hurt the cold muscles. Jungle.
this one's a half bridge it really helps you to keep your upper back strong and it prevents your body stiffness lifelong if you will do the stretch daily you'll have some amazing and tremendous benefits which you won't get by doing any other exercise so make sure that you always do it on a daily basis This one's Cobra Pose Hold. Some of you might find it difficult to just touch your head to your feet all the way. But if you just can't do this, the all you have to do is stretch as far as back you can. It's totally fine if you're not able to do. You don't have to force yourself or you don't have to be harsh on yourself. You'll eventually get it by just being yourself. You might be wondering that why I'm doing this child pose again and again. So it is really important for your relaxation of your back because the more you stress, the more you need relax. So always do this child pose. This one's a sleeping back bend. This is such an easy exercise and easiest way for you to do a back bend because if you're a neophyte, you might fear going all the way back in your first attempt. So what you can do is you can just lie on a ground and you can just do your back bend. This is like easiest way for back bend. If you want to get more and more flexible, you want your flexible hands, you want your upper back flexible, lower back flexible. So what you have to do is you have to sway in back and the more you start swaying, the more flexible your body will get. I mean your cold muscles will get warm so which is like really important for you to just stand all the way in a bagman or in a br bridge if you even want to fall into a bagman or a bridge you can try this exercise definitely and i definitely am really surely speaking that you will do it and then again you have to do a child pose for the relaxation of your back So once you done once you have done trying all your stretches and everything first you can do is you can use a chair to make things convenient you can either use your sofa or whatever so that you will do it very easily and you won't fear going all the way back and you can even take a wall support so that you'll go slowly downwards and you'll come upwards and you'll go downwards upwards and in, in a bagman or into a bridge and i'm damn sure you are getting it if you're practicing you're being consistent then what are you guys are waiting for i'm damn sure you guys will get it and love you all so much then again you have to do a reverse version of it thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you all so much and if you did all the stretches along with me i really appreciate that i just have to say if you're a neophyte in this just don't get disheartened by the fact that you won't get it one day you won't get anything in one day you have to be very consistent and persistent keep practicing and know you will get it definitely just please be too harsh on yourself because harshness will cause nothing you might get injured if you just stretch over stretch your cold muscles keep practicing i would just like to say just keep practicing also if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates and do comment or just leave a comment what you guys want to see in my next video i will be doing that definitely also also i'm sorry i just forgot to say there's so much lot of light every time i will be posting every sunday and wednesday so just don't forget to watch my videos i love you all bye